Greetings and salutations, my name is JW608, and today I am playing Star Maid. And we're going to work some more on, um, hangar doors. Well, force fields. I've got them all to work properly. Well, the uh, controls on the bridge, anyway. So I can turn them all off. Or I can turn them on and off individually. Let's see. With uh, these buttons here. And they even display the proper display blocks. And I had things all horribly backwards last time. So, um, and cross-wired and all that. So always test your logic, make sure you have everything right. But today, uh, today, today, it's our sailing day. Uh, no, uh, today I want to make, um, make it so when we go into a ship-wide lockdown, the doors automatically close. So we need to dig in here again. And we're going to grab this. So this is a knot. Okay, so that's going to be a knot. Alright, so let's dig around in this logic here and see what we got going. So we got a button up here. And it comes down, and what do you do? Uh, what controls this knot? Oh, 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 that knot. Okay, there's an activation module in here somewhere. Yeah, and it, it tells whether or not, um, yeah, there it is. Whether or not this door has something in it, so it turns on and off the door. All right, so that's what that knot does. Build block? I get rid of the build block. Uh, we're just going to get rid of all these build blocks in here. I'm going to have to repeat this like four times, aren't I? What's all this? Oh, that's the hallway logic. Dummy. My flashlight. I got rid of that build block. Am I missing one? Probably I am missing one somewhere. Alright. There it is. Alright, so here's our logic. We want a and uh, and oh, well, I want to come up here and grab this. Alright, this is the lockdown control. When I turn this on, lockdown is on and this is a not telling me the lockdown is not on. A little confusing, right? So, it was basically a flip-flop, but not really. Well, I guess it basically is a flip-flop without using flip-flop block. The small activation button is so I can do things wirelessly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select that, we're going to come down, and we're going to edit the hanger. I should have done this before I placed the hangers, but I didn't know I was going to do this, so... Yeah, oh, down. Where am I? It is behind this panel that I have these. So we're going to pop this down here. We're going to come down to the next hanger and pop on right here. So let's move to this hanger. All right. Pop one here. And one here. All right. So what have I done? Well, I've set it up so, um, well, let me show you. Force field, we're going to go, that is no longer going to feed into that. This button, the controller button, is no longer going to feed into the, into the, um, flip-flop. It's going to feed into this and. The and is also going to be controlled by whether or not the, um, the, uh, Oh, oh, I can't do that. All right. Uh, whether or not lockdown's in session. In session? Is in enabled. So let's plan this a little better. Wait a minute. Why did they go curve it? It should have gone just straight down.
Huh, that's weird. Oh, oh, because that's not lined up properly. Okay, so let's get rid of all those ands. Why? Because it's it's all logic-y wrong, or the wiring is ugly. Why don't you turn wiring off? Because I like the challenge of having wiring on. I only deleted like two of those. There's the other one. All right. So now let's grab this and hit C. So now every block I place will be will be um, properly oriented. Oriented? Orientated? Whatever. There we go. Or we'll be properly connected. We're gonna put it behind, so now it lines up perfectly. All right, so we're gonna put it behind that display module. I'm never gonna remember what I've done in a million years. Behind the display module. And the display module, and one more. Behind the display module. All right. Now, let's proper, and let's make sure I have everything done right. Let's start with the starboard forward, and let's go into this door now and grab that button, unlink it from that switch or that flip flop, and into that and. This and is then going to go to that flip flop. All right. So let's do the similar operation, but for starboard rear. So what am I doing here? Well, this is now you are going to be unable to unable to uh, activate the door, or you aren't going to be able to turn off the flip flop or the. Um, what's that going to? Oh, this one. Okay, no. You aren't going to be able to turn on or off the force field if the system is in lockdown. That's basically what we're doing here. Oh, no, I wanted that flashlight on because I'm using it. One of the rare times I'm actually using the flashlight. Right. So let's come down here. We go here. And CV. All right. And... Port. Port forward. Normally, I like to have all this logic -y stuff done in production, but, hey. So, let's return to the bridge. Let's cycle the chip-wide lockdown, and let's come to this one and test it. Alright, so that one works properly. Uh, that was what forward. Oh. I want that back on. Thank you very much. Let's see, make sure this one works. Cycle it through a couple times. First field on. Can't see it's on. Looks off to me, though that's because transparencies and whatnot have a problem right now. Well, they've always had a problem seeing force fields through transparent blocks. Alright, so that one works. Right, that's off and that's on. That works properly. And pop this door and it's off. That's on. That's off. That's on. And something is not wired right here. Huh. I didn't wire that into it. Okay. On. Oh, off, on. All right. So that one's off. Checking to make sure everything's proper. Okay. And let's see where am I? I'm in the back. I'm backwards. Uh, all right. Let's get everybody on. Now these. Uh, let's starboard forward. So let's check it. Starboard forward. That feeds straight into the flip-flop, doesn't it? Not into the to the button. 
Yeah, that one controls the flip-flop directly. So the, the bridge has a lockdown override. So I can turn on and off the force fields for the hangers from the bridge. All right. That was a bit laggy, but it got it. A bit laggy, but it got it. All right. Then we can turn them back on from the bridge. There we go. So now let's see if we can turn them on and off from the... Yep. Now I'm unable to turn them on or off from the hangar itself. Good. Check all of them because that's just what you do. Yep, refuses to... Well, I guess I could just read the thing. It doesn't say on or off. Or it doesn't change to off. But you never know. Always check every part of the logic circuit. Because logic hates you and wants you to die. For whatever reason, today, I want that to be the forward of the ship. I don't know why. Hmm. Anyway. Well, we've got it. So, when locked down... The only way to turn on and off the hangar force fields is from the bridge. Now, I want, I want to turn on the hangers, or turn on the force field once the, or once the, um, or if the, uh, come on brain, work with me. If lockdown comes on, I want the force field hangar doors to turn on automatically. There we go. Use your words. All right, so let's see. Let's take this down. Uh, where are we going to take it? So we have the not signal, or we have the um, on signal again. Not signal. Actually, no, let's do this. Take you. Then, and. Okay, that will work. So we're gonna take the main and we're gonna run an and into, let's do port forward. And this and goes to the knot. So it is on, the force field is on right now. So let's say if the force field was off and lockdown is off, trigger the, the, uh, all right, so port forward. Well, the, that is force field's on, so let's trip the lockdown and it turned it on again. All right. So what did you just do? I took this and added an AND, and then did the AND to whether or not the door was open. So if it's locked down AND the force field is open, then it triggers the flip-flop. So that will mean the shutdown. So I have my AND selected for the, or my lockdown selected. So let's see. So it's going to come down here, and I just chose back here because it's convenient. In fact, let's go and put them everywhere. Uh, where am I? Getting turned around and backwards. Alright, so... Uh, let's do the port side first, so I'm not going to get myself overly confused. So the the activation switch, or the activation module, from the bridge runs down to this AND. This AND, I want this flip-flop to feed into this AND, and this AND to feed into this flip-flop. Well, that knot, I'm sorry, the knot to feed in. So that will mean if it's on and actually let's grab 
the starboard forward and I'll explain it a little better, I think, I hope. So, activation is a lockdown signal. If lockdown is true and the flip-flop is in this state, that is, the force field is off, then it will send a pulse to the flip-flop to, to switch it back to on. That's the general theory behind it, and I probably explained it really, really poorly. So, now let's go back to the bridge. Turn off all our force fields. They are indeed all off. Then let's go into lockdown mode, and... Here we go. All the force fields have triggered, so the ship or the hangars are in lockdown. Awesome. Now that shouldn't trigger if, and these should have uh, ticked back to on. There we go. Now this should not trigger at all if we do red alert. So you should still be able to use the hangars properly or normally in red alert. But if we go to a full lockdown, then it's locked down. But in the bridge, you have the option of uh, saying, oh yeah, starboard rear, we're going to open up that force field to let the shuttle in and out. We'll probably post an extra guard or two at these doors. Awesome. All right. So we're getting there. We are getting there. I think this is probably going to be my most technologically advanced ship I've ever built. That makes me happy. Anywho, I have been JW608, this has been StarMade, and I'll dig you cats later.